said, you are God. Mm -hmm. Woo! And all of you oh. are sons yes. of the Most High. Jesus. Yes. Nevertheless, you will die like mere men. Like Think about this. Mm -hmm. When God brought the children of Israel, uh -huh. hallelujah, Jesus. amen, when he brought the children of Israel out of bondage, amen. remember there was also the point where they sent in the spies. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Moses mm -hmm. and the spies. Yes, and they mm -hmm. had to go. And there were only two that came back with a good report. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. All of them had. Only two came back with a good report. That's right. Yes. Amen. And the Bible says that all of those of the household of those that came back with a bad report, God wiped them out. You know why? Uh -huh. Because they were operating as mere men. Yes. Mm. They were moving and operating yes. in their faith with as oh. mere men. Yes. Yes. And so God was upset with them because they brought doubt to the congregation. Yes. Yes. See, the Bible here says in 82, it says that God takes his stand in his own congregation. And yes. so here he is in the midst of his own congregation. Yes. And then he has some people that come with a bad report. He's already promised them this particular place and time, this land this territory, and then he had some that come back, hallelujah, with a bad report saying, no, no, we can't do this. Yes. So basically what they were saying is that God, God is not able. Right. God is not able to deliver this thing to us. You must be crazy. We need to make a U-turn and then go back the other way. And so the Bible says that he killed them all off. And not only that, he killed off all the other complainers and all of the other murderers and he killed off all the other children that were disobedient. He killed them all off, and hallelujah, because there were some things that he wanted. His children to have see, yes, God yes, doesn't like yes. it when folk come into your life, hallelujah, that are negative. Yes, he doesn't yes, like yes. it when folk come into your life that make it personal. Yes. Yes. See, he's trying to kill the old Holy Spirit. And you got some folk coming in the life, in the midst of his congregation, in the midst of his little God, telling them that you can't be who God said you are to be. You can't go where God said you can go. You can't live the way God said that you can live. And so God takes it personal because now you are here coming against my seed. You understand? And he said that the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. When I think about the seed of the righteous, I can't help but to think about Jesus. He is the righteous seed. And he said that the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. But that is Jesus is your Lord and Savior. You are the righteousness of Christ. You are the seed of the righteous. And God said that you shall and will be delivered. God personal. When folks come around you, oh God, planting seeds of discord. Oh, planting seeds of doubt and fear. God takes it personal when folks tell you that you ain't gonna make it. Try to laugh out on your own. I try to do this on your own. God takes it personal because guess what? He said if I be for you. The whole world ain't enough against you. Anything you 
want to do. You can yes. put your mind to it, go back to school, do whatever. Yes. And then here you come. Here comes someone. Yes. Family member or friend. Come on. Whomever. Whoever. To say, well, by the time you get finished, you'll be such and such an age. Yeah, come on. By the time you get done, mm, you're going to have all those loans. By the time you get finished. I don't know. Is, is that a good thing to do? And so you have all of these no, people no. shooting down. So the, yes. why do you want to do that? Oh, you ought to do this. Yes. So, yeah, I, 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 you know, I've come to the place in my life that, you know, when people tell me certain things, I look at and check what they got going on for them. That's right. right. I know you're right, Pastor. I always check, like, why are you living? Yes. yes. How you living? And how's your financial statement? Yes. <laughs> And what's your view on, you understand, all of these things. Now, I want to know, well, well, what do you, you have going on? What type of plans do you have set in motion? Yes. You're giving me advice, you understand, telling me what I ought and should not do. Mm -hmm. Huh? And you still, you know, working mm -hmm. yes. at minimum wage. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to understand how can you tell me what I ought to do. You understand what I'm talking about. And so because misery loves company, misery is always going to tell company that company needs to just stay a little longer. But the little, you got to get to a place where you move beyond, you understand the misery, where you move beyond folks' pity parties and folks because they haven't moved any place from point A to B and get to a place, amen, that God has purpose for your life. Yes. And so God takes it personal. Yes, amen. Yes, he does. He does. When folks say what won't happen for you. Oh, that's right. Amen. When people say Negativity. what is not going to be accomplished for you. Yes, right. come on. When they try to tell you, hallelujah, that you may as well throw in the towel My God. and give it up. Or, you, know, you understand what I'm saying. You, ought to, you, need, you need to try something else that doesn't make sense. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And so I've learned over the years, amen, I just look at people. Uh, and I'm like, okay. Help me, Lord. All right, that's what you say. I hear, I listen, and then I'm always watching and listening mm -hmm. and checking and inspecting mm -hmm. and evaluating. I'm like, no, that doesn't line up. Oh, really? 